We're going to show people today how to test their grounding mat. So some people are asking, well, I don't, I, I'm using the grounding mat, but I don't actually know if it's working or not. How can I know if it's working? Um, this is just simulating. It's bringing the outside inside and just making it the same. Like if I was touching the earth outside, touching the ground, touching the soil. So there's electrical fibers in here, which connect to, to, to this plug, which then connects through the wire into your ground outlet, right? So it just connects into your ground outlet. So you're not transferring electricity, you're transferring negative ions from the earth into the mat, and then you are connecting your body so that you can match that resonance and take those ions from the earth. Okay, so how do you know if it's actually working? Well, you're gonna use a multimeter. The way that you can use a multimeter, and I've got two, and just because it, show, it doesn't show that it's working doesn't necessarily mean that it's working. You're gonna see in a moment that it can actually be that your multimeter doesn't work properly. So before you send your product back to whatever manufacturer, uh, it's probably not the mat, it's probably just your multimeter. So this mat wasn't working for me before, and I thought I was having a problem with my mat, um, but there's no problem with it at all. Uh, this, I bought another one, a newer one, and it shows that it works just fine. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So you, you take it, your multimeter, you turn it to voltage, with the sine wave, not the other side here, which is for DC current. We want AC current. So you take it and you turn it to voltage for 200. Your red wire goes into the uh, voltage side, not the amperage side, but the voltage side, and the black wire goes to calm, okay? Now you can test the, your mat by simply doing this. Um, you're, you, be careful, be very, very careful here. You're plugging it into the ground outlet, okay? Only the ground outlet. Now, if I touch the other side to myself, I'm simply connecting. If I plug into one of these, I'm going to get electrocuted. Don't plug into one of those. That's how you die. This is how you check your mat. I plug into the ground outlet, and now you can see my voltage is two, two volts. I, am, I have a voltage of 2 volts, 2.1 volts, okay? That's my natural voltage. Um, now let's check with, okay. Okay, so the black wire goes to the ground. The red one shows that I have 2 volts. Okay, now watch this. As soon as I touch my hand on the grounding mat, my voltage, it's still connected to me, to my finger, but my voltage is 0. It has reduced my voltage to zero. That's how you know it works. If I take my hand off it, watch this, watch the numbers. Two, I'm now at two volts and I'm at zero. Okay, now I'll show you this other one and I'm gonna show you this one just, it's not a problem with the mat. It's the same setup, it just doesn't work. So we're gonna take this at negative. I'm gonna put this into the grounding outlet. Okay, that's in the grounding outlet it doesn't show my voltage. So if it doesn't, it's same thing. I put it, it's in calm, it's in uh, voltage, not in amps. This should be showing my voltage right now. It just doesn't show. So if it doesn't show your voltage, then don't count on it to be doing anything. It's not, it's just not working for this, okay? It's strange because, and certainly don't do this if you don't know what you're doing, but I can take this and I can put this in the prongs that you're not supposed to put them in. And you can see that I get a reading of 115 volts. So the voltmeter actually does work for high voltages, whatever reason. And, I, and again, don't do this, don't play around with this, but it doesn't show the low voltage for whatever reason. It only shows the high voltage.